Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my Walking Dead review, Season 6, Episode 2. And uh, I am looking forward to see where this episode goes because the episode last episode was good. I did like uh, what they set up there, so we're going to have to wait and see. I'm wondering who blew that horn that lured them back to... That lured the zombies back to Alexandria, so I can't wait to see what happens with that. Um, And... Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens with it. So let me just start the review. Uh, and I'm going to watch it. Um, And as it goes to commercial, I'm going to make small videos talking about it. And then I'm going to combine them all into a big video. And uh, yeah, that would be cool. So um, this is Season 6, Episode 2. This episode's called JSS. I'm not sure why yet, so we'll find out when we get there. And uh, this episode came out on October 18th, 2015. So uh, now that I've done it, let's try to make some progress. I'm going to try to get this uh, these episodes up before um, it comes back up again. It comes back in February on February 14th of this year. So I hope uh, I can get it up before uh, I can review all these episodes before um, that it starts back up again. Okay, so the episode starts off with um, this family, and they're um, in a car. They're having trouble getting it started, and a bunch of walkers start, start well, zombies, walkers, you know, whatever you want to call them, um, start coming up. And then when they get close, once the a couple of them come up behind them, and um, um, apparently the family has just, I guess, been eaten by these zombies. They've been killed by them. And she's... This girl's the only one left standing, and she's all bloody. And there's only, like, one left, and it's just Eden, which I'm assuming is the parents. Um, so it goes through this montage, um, and she's just walking around. This was a flashback, by the way, too. And um, in the dirt, she writes JSS. I believe it I think J JSS. Hold on. Yeah. Um, in the dirt. She just wiped it with a stick. And then um, she starts walking and she sees a uh, zombie just laid out out with uh, outside a car with the car door open. When she goes to touch it, the zombie starts moving. And um, then eventually she kills it, but we don't actually see it. It just kind of cuts to that part. And then in the window of the car, she writes... JSS, uh, but we can't see it. It's the way we view it, it's like in a mirror because she writes it only writes it in the car, so we would we wouldn't see it that way. And then um, she sees a turtle. Um, don't know what kind of turtle it was, but it was a turtle. And uh, she kills it, eats it, and she uses the bones to write JSS. And then um, she um shows up to Alexandria, which is the town that. You know, we've been seeing throughout the last half of the season, season five of the show. And um, she, I guess, gets accepted. But before she goes in, she writes JSS on her hand. And then she shows her going into the town. So I actually like the opening. I thought it was actually a really good way to start off the um, the episode. And I can't, I can't wait to see what they do with this. Um and what JSS is, what does it mean? I can't wait to see what happens. So now we know why it's called JSS. But I want to know what JSS means. So let's continue watching and see what happens. Okay, so then the, after they do the theme song and the intro and all that stuff, um, the actual episode kicks back off. Kicks off. Kicks off um, when um, Carol is getting food. And, uh, she's talking to these other women that I don't think they said their name, they, uh, said her name. And, um, they were talking about casseroles that they would make, and how Carol is the sweet, loving person, and she's acting like that. And then, um, she, um, and they talk about how they could eat, like, queens if they got other food. Uh, they didn't say queens, but it was implied, um... And then um, she talks to this other woman, and she's like, you know, I could teach you how to make pasta with just your two hands if you quit smoking. Because there's already other things out there 
trying to kill you, and we don't want smoke to be the thing that kills you. And then, uh, that was it. Um, and then, um, she comes over and to the young kid that she was kind of talking crap to the last season. I don't remember his name. It's, uh, Pete's, um, son. Not, not the other one, but the other son, the youngest one. Um, and she's like, your father died. Get over it. There's other things out there that are going to kill you. You have to just step up and get over it. Go home. She just kind of completely ignored this kid and just went off on him. I thought that was awesome. Uh, then what happened next? Um, Pete's wife. Uh, I don't remember uh, her name off the top of my head. Um, it's going to give Ron a haircut. And um, he... She calls him to get downstairs. Ron doesn't want to have a haircut. They have an argument talking about what happened the night that Pete Rick shot Pete. And um, I thought that was cool. And um, Ron's pretty much blaming her for that for the reason that it happened. And she talks about how she's moved on really quickly. And I think he's upset too that she's taken Rick's side. Um, and how she's even and uh, she's talking about too how. Pete was dangerous, so uh, I thought that was a cool scene. Um, then um, Eugene and Taylor um, uh, building a new platform um, to uh, have to keep going in case any zombies come up. So uh, they need antibiotics, so they're talking about it. And then we meet this uh, new person in the show. And uh, her name's Denise, and she's this is the first time being a nurse. But she, she, but she's really not. She went to school to be a nurse, but then she realized she didn't want to be a nurse. She's just a psychiatrist, um, but she can't does know how to do this stuff. And she wanted to be in, help helping out patients before, but Pete wouldn't let her be there. Um, and um, then uh, we, Tara's having a headache, and. Um, Denise is going to check on and saying that she's her first patient. And uh, Eugene's kind of doing things that make her nervous. I thought that was okay. I mean, the person, uh, Denise, kind of doesn't really look like. Um, she knows what she's doing. She's really nervous. So I don't know. How, she may not do very well. And then um, Carl's walking with Judith in the carriage. Uh, she's taking her for like, He's taking her for like a stroll. And he sees the girl that... Um, he likes, I don't know, her, I don't remember her name, it's from last season, and, uh, she, she sees her with another guy, um, and they start hugging, so, um, he thinks, you know, that they're not, nothing's gonna happen with them, and then Gabriel comes up and says, you heard what I said to, um, Diana, I think her name is, uh, about what I said about your group, and, um, he says, there wasn't anything with your group, it was me, and you tried to teach me how to you know, use weapons before, um, but I wasn't willing to learn, but now I am. So Carl tells him to come b by my house at this, at a certain time, I don't remember what the time was, and, um, he says, we'll start with the machete. And then, uh, a scene I forgot that happened earlier was Maggie's talking with Diana, and they're gonna plant some stuff saying that you wanted to make this community and have it rebuild and rejoice, and, uh, I kinda zoned out when they were talking, um, and then Carol is fixing some stuff up in the kitchen, and then she looks out the window at that same girl I think that she was talking to, and um, let it be known, some guy just jumps this girl and beats the crap out of her. Um, she had a weapon. He had a weapon, and he pretty much just killed her. I thought that was cool. So far, the episode it's been kind of boring. Um, it's just been okay. It hasn't been anything great, but uh. I did like the scene where Carol uh, went off on that little kid. Um, I do like what they're doing, but it's just kind of with the Vaughn and his mother. Um, and then I liked that guy just completely jumping that girl, but everything else. The episode just kind of felt bland. So, you know. But let's see if it gets better. Okay, so uh, the next thing that happens is um, Maggie and uh, Dot. Diana, um, I think that's her name, um, um, are continuing farming, and, uh, they hear the screams, 
uh, that happened. And um, she asked what's going on. And then um, this fu this fireball, I only want to say it's a fireball, but somebody throws like something that's on fire um, at the wall. And then the other guy, somebody else throws something else that's on fire at somebody else. And he ends up getting caught on fire and he falls. And um, it just breaks into chaos at this point. Um, what else happens? Um, Matt, uh, Carol is going to go see what's going on. And uh, Carl is told to stay there and protect Judith. He has his, he has a gun ready to be fired. And then... Um, What else happens? Um, what happened after that? Uh, somebody's trying to run off and he gets attacked with a spear, um, and just gets killed. And um, Juan's brother and mother um, doesn't want to. Juan's brother doesn't want to be left alone, so his mother is gonna go look for him. Um, but then they hear somebody in the house, so um. They lock themselves in the closet, and uh, she takes out a gun, like gun, uh, just in case she needs to fire it. And then, um, and there's just blood everywhere. Everyone's killing everybody. Carol's sneaking around, and she sees everyone just being killed off. Um, and then eventually, uh, she sees the person that she saw getting attacked earlier. Um, and this other guy who. There's this other guy, and they're coming in from all over the place, too. Like, there's a ton of these people. Uh, is getting ready to stab um, and kill and kill this girl. But Carol takes the, her knife and kills this guy. And um, the girl is screaming, and Carol has to put her down because she'll turn into a zombie if she doesn't. And then um, Carl hears somebody at the door, and um, that girl that we saw earlier in the episode... I don't remember her name, comes in and says, uh, them, and she did, she doesn't knock because she has the keys to get in, so, um, she said that she just wanted to say goodbye, and Carl says, don't do that, just help me protect Judith, and, uh, Carl says, and she says, and then she says that they're not gonna be able to defend this place because it's too big to defend, and Carl says, they're not gonna take this place from us, and you're not gonna say goodbye, so he doesn't want to hear any of that, um, and then, uh, it ends, this the uh goes to commercial after um we see um this guy um I don't remember his name but he's trying to shoot people but he he can't really shoot that well so he's missing everybody and then um we see this truck pull up and it just goes right into the wall in Alexandria and this was the wall and then the horn goes off this is the horn obviously that we heard go off in the last episode so now we know why. So I can't wait to see what happens from this point. Um, so let's see what happens. And I forgot to say, I thought this was all very good stuff. I like the stuff that happened um, with the invasion. I thought it was great. Okay, so next what happens is... Um, uh, Holly, one of the people that was goading um, and fighting, um, is injured. So uh, they're going to check up on her. Um... Eugene, Taylor, um, and the De Alexa, um, and, um, then what happens is, uh, Morgan comes back, the other guy that was going in the door, um, he comes in, I think his name was, uh, Spencer, and, uh, he opens the door and there's a zombie in there, and he's trapped and he's jammed with, in the, and he's jammed, um, in the truck, and he's causing the horn to beep, so Morgan kills him and lets him go, and, um, he tells Morgan that, that a group came in and attacked and is killing people, and, um, so then Morgan meets this other guy, and the guy, and he has, like, an axe on him, and he has, has it, like, chained to his, uh, chained to him, and he asks, how is this gonna be done, quick or painless, and he's like, it doesn't have to be this way. Well, no, quick or slowly. And he says, I guess it looked like it's going to be slowly. And then um, somebody um, dressed up like, you know, in a hood and stuff like that attacks him. And it's um, Carol, and she's dressed up like one of these people. And Morgan just like, I could have stopped him. And Carol says, they, they, don't have gun they don't have guns, so 
because they'd be using them. So we have to get to the armory before they eat you. And Morgan can repeatedly says, I could have stopped them. And he says, you don't want to kill these people. Killing isn't the answer. Um, but you're not really responding. Uh, I thought that was a good scene. And uh, there's like blood all over the place. And I think that, and um, it's just a massacre. People are just, I mean, they're even chopping people up um, that are already dead. I think, which is awesome. And then uh, later on, Delex is, um, Holly's bleeding eternally, and the only way that she can be saved um, is to have surgery done to her. But Delexa isn't a surgeon. Well, she studied it, but she's not a surgeon. And Taylor wants something to be done because she was helping defend people. But Delexa says that she's afraid. And uh, Eugene says, you shouldn't let fear take, you shouldn't be a coward. I know that from experience. You shouldn't let fear take over you. And then, um, Delexa is going to try to do the surgery, which I'm, I wonder what's going to happen with that. And then, um, Ron is just hiding and this other guy comes up behind him and he's going to, and starts chasing him and, um, Carl shoots him. And, um, when the guy, the guy is begging for mercy, begging for his life, but it, it was all just a ruse and he tries to take Carl's gun from him, but, uh, Carl shoots him in the head and kills him. And Carl tells him to come inside. He'll be safe with us. But then Juan looks at the girl that Carl was with. I forget her name. Um, and says no. Which I thought was a dumb idea. But whatever. I guess he, they apparently have something against each other. And then um, Juan's brother and mother are um, in the house. And uh, Juan's mother goes um, out. Because she hears something to investigate. And um, when she she's scoping around seeing if anyone's in the house. And um, this girl attacks her from behind and beats the crap out of her. Um, she slams her up against the, the, against the wall. And she kind of gets incapacitated for a little bit. So then um, um, Juan's mother grabs scissors um, and stabs her from behind. And just stabs her repeatedly. And then when Juan comes in, she sees this. So I wonder, obviously Juan's going to be, like, mortified by this. He's going to be heartbroken that he saw his mother just kill somebody after seeing his father pass away. So I can't wait to see what they do with that. I actually really enjoyed this episode so far. I think it's been great. Um, so let's see what happens next. Okay, so next, um, I forgot to mention a few things that happened in the last scene before it went to commercial. Uh, Maggie is disguised as one of them, I just said that, but, uh, she's also, cause all these people have the W written on their forehead, so she took blood and wrote W on her forehead, which I thought was really smart. One thing about Mag, not Maggie, actually, I, Carol, sorry, I screwed up the names, um, one thing about Carol is she really is really smart, she's really resourceful, uh, which is what, why I think she survived this one, um, and then, uh, before that, um, Maggie, Diana, and uh, Spencer are outside the walls, and um, Diana doesn't want to go in the wall because she doesn't have a gun and she doesn't know how to fight, so she's, she would just pretty much have to be one of the people that needs to be saved, so Spencer's going to keep guard of her, and Maggie's going to go in. Um, okay, so then the next thing that happens um, is um, Carol is pretending to be one of them, and she has um, Morgan like all chained up his hand, hands chained together like he's in handcuffs um which was pretty smart like he's taking him as a hostage and then he sees um Gabriel about to be attacked by one of them and uh he attacks him um and beats the crap out of that guy and knocks him out and then um Carol goes into the armory and um well, I know, Carol's killing people all over the place, um, and she goes into the armory and kills people, and then, um, she ends up saving one of, um, one of the people that we saw earlier, and, um, she has that person keep guard, and she teaches her how to use her gun, and then, um, Morgan and, um, Gabriel are trying to get answers from the guy that they attacked, um, but before he can really say anything, Carol kills him, and, um, Carol gives them guns, and, um, nobody, um, and Morgan doesn't want to use a gun. He has something against killing people, 
Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to have to wait and see. Um, because he doesn't seem to like to kill people. He doesn't mind kicking people's ass. He just doesn't like to kill people. And, um, then Morgan sees, like, about five of these people. And, um, instead of Morgan killing them, he tells them to leave. He says that they have guns and you don't, so you'll be dead if you leave. Um, and then, um, Morgan says that you don't have, that you, you shouldn't do this because this is what causes you to die. And, um... You shouldn't choose to take these ma actions. And then the guy says, we didn't choose this. So then they leave, and Morgan tells him to never come back. And I feel like we are going to see these people again. I don't think this is going to be the end of it. Um, and then he closes the gate, and then that was it. I actually like this scene here. I like the stuff that happened with Morgan, and I like the stuff with Carol. Uh, I thought this, this was great stuff. Okay, so the next thing that happens is uh, Carol had killed someone. She killed the chick that uh, smoked, cig smoked the cigarettes that they had had that conversation earlier. And Carol's obviously upset about that because this was, was one of her friends. So then she takes the cigarette and I actually thought she was going to end up smoking the cigarette, but she didn't smoke it. And um, she wipes her forehead because she has the W on her forehead. And then she looks over like the staircase and she sees that the letter A is written there. And then, um, the next thing that happens is, uh, we see Adam, I think his name is, and, um, one of the zombies is still alive, so he kills it, and, um, he goes through this guy's backpack, and he sees that he has pictures of the town, like he had planned this attack all along, so then, um, so I thought, I liked that, and then, um, the next thing that happens is, uh, Spencer's talking to Rosita and he asks her how he deals with this knowing that there's people like this out there how do you how did you guys deal with it and Rosita says well when you're with the group and the people that you love your friends and your family you'll do anything for to do it for them and then um Maggie kills one of the zombies and says that we're still here and then um then at last then that we see no and then Carl is in the house and he's looking for Eden I think her name is but I'm probably never gonna see her again but I just gave away why um but it's been so long it doesn't really matter um he sees that she wrote a note saying survive somehow so pretty much she left I don't know if we're ever gonna see you again I'm assuming we probably will at some point but I'm not sure when or how um and then um the episode ends with Morgan and he's just walking around like he's pissed. And uh, he ends up killing one of the zombies. And then he goes into one of the houses. And uh, one of the guy, some one of the guys is still alive. He's about to attack Morgan. And they get into a fight. And the guy that he's fighting is actually the guy that he saw in the last episode of season 5. Um, and he says that you came. You shouldn't have come. And then he ch goes to charge at him. Morgan moves out of the way. And he ends up going right into the poster and it's glass on it and then Morgan says I'm sorry and he ends up killing the guy which you know must have been tough for him but he ends up doing it and I thought this was great stuff too I thought all this stuff was great okay so then the episode it ends um, with Morgan and Carol walking by each other and then we get to see like this surveying of the damage um, of the town and I thought that was great um, just because uh you know, um, because Morgan obviously just killed someone, he didn't like it, and they have different opinions about how, what they should do, and, uh, I'm not sure if Carol really wants to kill people, because when she kind of kills them, she looks like she doesn't really want to do it, but she has to do it, um, and Morgan doesn't really agree with that, he thinks there's other ways to deal with these situations, so, uh, I did like this, and Morgan just talking to these guys, telling them to leave, actually worked, but then he actually did kill somebody, so... I actually like this. Um, and then that was the end of the episode. I don't think this is over yet, though. I think we're going to see these people again. I don't know how. I don't know where. But I feel like uh, when uh, Rick and his group come back, they're going to tell them about this, and Rick's going to want to go find these people. Um, and Morgan will probably try to talk them out of it or something. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so overall, I actually enjoyed this episode. I uh, 
thought the beginning was pretty boring, but I, it really picked up once the group started invading. I liked that, the whole fight. I liked the stuff they did with Carol and Morgan in this episode. And the stuff they did with Rob and uh, his mother, the storyline they did there. And uh, the stuff with uh, the girl in the beginning, um, Eden, I think her name is, uh, with when uh, she left, I thought that was cool. So I actually liked this episode. I thought it was great. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll be back to do another review of this show at some point. I'll be back to do another video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't for your all future content like movies, TV shows, anything. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to check out all the other stuff down below. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.